Well, hello. I'm Sarah, the Real Simple Mama, and we're going to talk about wasps and how I hate them. So, I have done a video on flying pests, mosquitoes, wasps, and flies, and some just some information to know and some chicken safe ways that you can get rid of those things. But I'm having problems with wasps, and so this is not a conclusive video. This is part one of hopefully only two parts of Operation FU Wasp. So um, I've tried a couple of methods. I've thought about making this video already, but I didn't really have a lot to report. So I'm going to do it now, but know that the battle is not over. Um, so here's the deal. Um, and I'll be very brief on the, on the backstory here. This coop was built a long time ago on this property. And then it wasn't used for a really long time and the wasps kind of took it over. We moved in a couple of months ago and I cleaned out as much as I could but wasn't really sure what to do with the wasps. Now I'll tell you that wasps, excuse me, I'm talking. Wasps are not inherently bad to have around your chickens. It's not like, oh my gosh, there's wasps, like my chickens are in mortal danger. It's not like that at all. I actually wouldn't mind having wasps around. There are hundreds of kinds of wasps and hornets and yellow jackets and all kinds of stuff. Some of the ones, like, I, I haven't been able to positively identify the ones that we've got, and you can see the little nests all over the place. I believe we have Texas paper wasps, which are actually not bad because they do pollinate. But the problem is, is that they're just taking over this coop. I have at least 10 active nests in here. Some are really close to where the chickens sleep. Some are, like, right over my head where I clean out their food and stuff. And so there are nests here within the coop where I'm kind of like, I don't want to kill you, but... I need to get rid of some of these nests so I've tried a couple of methods already so I'm going to tell you what I've noticed what's worked what's not worked and then here's some other ideas so first of all and I think I can see it from here maybe not I bought a wasp trap that's that lime green thing hanging over there and it's by rescue um, it's like the rescue Y W H Y and it's a quote unquote natural bait that's in there that's like a vinegar water mix that's supposed to attract wasps and hornets and not attract bees which is why I decided to tolerate it and you're supposed to put that one like 20 feet away from the wasp nests so we actually had it hung here next to the coop for a couple of days and then we read the instructions and we were like oh whoops and then we moved it it has caught exactly zero wasps in a week so now I will tell you um, I'm not going to try any method that's not chicken safe so any of, I mean, I don't know if Raid is the brand or what the brand is, you know, of the different like wasp poison sprays, because that stuff, like some of those things are so toxic. It's like whatever clothes you wear, when you use it, you have to like burn your clothes or like literally you have to throw them away. Like it's crazy. So I'm not going to use anything around my girls. that's not safe because you don't know if your chicken's going to peck at a, a wasp nest, if it falls to the ground or um, I'll show you some of the wasp nests that I came out and sprayed last night. The nest is not dead. They're just cleaning out, I guess, the, the eggs or the larva or the pupa that were in there that died. I, if your chicken picks up one of those and eats it, they're eating anything that was sprayed on it. Um, I have not been able to find conclusive information on if wasps can be eaten by chickens. I'm sure they probably can. Um, but it's just kind of like, I'm not going to try anything that's not safe. If I try every safe remedy and we still have wasps, then I may just have to learn to deal with it. So... So that wasp trap did not work. And it's one of the ones where, you know, it's like a funnel style and the wasp gets in and then it can't figure out how to get out. And either it dies of dehydration or it dies because it drowns in the liquid, which is sad. And I don't like slow death. I'm just trying to get rid of some of the nests. The wasp nests that are up in the awning there, like on the outside of the roof overhang, I'm not going to try to get rid of those because they're not in my way. Uh, but actually, even as I've started this video right up there on the chicken wire that's another group of wasps that looks like they're trying to build a nest right there and that's like right by where the chickens sleep you know so it's kind of like oh, okay we need to stop so the rescue Y vinegar mix is safe for chickens it was safe to have around my children and stuff not going to use it the next thing that i tried is a spray and i will put the recipe down here on the bottom so look for the the breakdown and i like when i find recipes for things online you know whether it's food or like a deodorizing spray or whatever and over people's different websites or if you use Pinterest for research or whatever you start to see like pretty much the same variation of the recipes you know like the, all, there's everybody has their own version but it's pretty much the same basic ingredients if that makes sense because then I feel confident that okay this some variation of this is probably gonna work so the variation that I found is off of City Girl Farming 
Um, and I follow her on Facebook and she, you know, she talks about drying herbs and, and it's the same kind of situation where she had wasps and wasp nests all over her chicken coop and it was like, okay, this is too close for comfort. I don't feel comfortable coming in here and working. So we need to do something. But most of the um, recipes are all going to be a water and white vinegar mixture. And then um, Dawn dish soap, and I've said this in other videos, Dawn brand dish soap you can add it into other sprays or whatever and what the dawn does is it helps it stick to whatever you're spraying it on so in this case it will help your liquid mixture not just drip off of the nest but it'll help it like stick to the nest and then i believe the other ingredient in that recipe was peppermint oil so i made that that batch of stuff a while ago and a couple of other things to know about wasps they are attracted to bright light at night so you don't i mean unfortunately i had to kind of come out in the dark but apparently they cannot see red light. So if you have like an Apple Watch, for example, you can use the flashlight feature on it. And I can teach you how to do that if you don't know. Put it in the comments and I'll give you more details on, on how to pull that up. Um, but I use the red light because apparently they can't see that, that color spectrum. And I had to come out here and just spray the hell out of them. Wasps are also attracted to like raw meat. So like if you're out grilling or whatever, you'll notice wasps come up. They are a lot less active at basically when it's dark so I came out at about 10 o'clock last night or you could come out at like you know five o'clock in the morning but obviously they're gonna be more active when it's warm so so last night I came out <laughs> and I was thinking oh this will be an entertaining video I didn't want to try to video while I was doing it because I had no idea how wasps are gonna react I've never been stung by one I know I'm not allergic to bees but I wasn't like <laughs> maybe I'll get stung that'd be totally cool you know I was like oh crap so you know it's like 90 degrees even at 10 o'clock at night out here in South Texas and I'm wearing like a coat and a scarf around my face and I probably looked like I was about to rob a bank except I was also in my pajamas but um, so I came out and I sprayed the hell out of two nests that are away from the chicken just in case it the breeze blew or whatever and again I mean chickens are fine if they inhale a little bit of peppermint oil you don't want to give it to them to consume but you know and water and white vinegar like it's gonna be fine so I sprayed the hell out of this nest which shows no damage or anything and I sprayed the hell out of this one over here and then I ran oh my gosh and then I ran back to the house and my husband was waiting for me and there was a wasp on my back and he had to knock it off of me with a broom and it was super fun at 10 o'clock at night. So this nest, you can see, um, I hope, that the dead, I did kill a lot of the wasps. There's a whole bunch of dead ones, at least five or six dead ones. And they're cleaning out the like mushy looking stuff down here. They're pulling out the old, um, I guess some of the eggs that got saturated, but I mean, the nest is still there and the wasps are still there. So, that method didn't work, at least not on one try. So now that I know that I didn't get brutally attacked by wasps and then go run screaming through the yard in the middle of the night in the dark, um, I guess I'm going to try the spray again. I may make another mix. Um, you know, I don't really want to use bleach. I don't really want to use poison. The other thing I need to come out and do is just knock down all of the old nests. Now, here are some other random methods you can do. They're chicken safe methods that I haven't tried yet, but I'm not convinced they all work. So, you know, the first is that wasps are territorial. And so if they see another existing nest, they'll be like, oh crap, somebody's already got this turf. You know, we're not going to build here. But as you can see, old nest, that new nest started in, within the last week. And then there's all these old nests and new nests within like a foot or two. So I think that's BS. The other thing that I haven't tried because it seems a little extreme is wasps won't build if you paint the underside of the roof, like what I'm showing you right now, if you paint it sky blue because they think they can't attach anything to it because they think it's the sky. I I mean, obviously I don't really have the time or the energy to come in and be like, mm -hmm. so I'm not sure if that works or not, but that's another tip that I've read about. So it's not a life or death matter, thank God. You know, nobody in my family is allergic to wasps or anything like that. But there's, I mean, there's just more and more and more coming. And I'm trying to work in here and they're flying, you know, they're flying in through the hardware cloth, which is the grid here. And there's just, they're just all over the place. So I don't like to come out and kill things just for the heck of it, but we're, it's, it's kind of ridiculous. So, so far the methods that I've tried have not worked. Um, I am going to be harvesting more fresh herbs. My chickens love the fresh lavender 
and the fresh roses and the other flowers and herbs that I've been putting in the nesting boxes. Um, I do have a deodorizing spray, which is this bottle right here. Um, I've shared the recipe on a couple of other videos, but essentially it's, um, it's, it's water and witch hazel, which you can use as a, like a 50, 50, just basic. Um, like I have a, a pillow spray, like a lavender spray that I make for my kids. We used to call it like a monster repellent, you know, when they were afraid of the dark. Um, but if you mix water and witch hazel equal parts, and then you put essential oils in it, that's just a good base and it won't stain or anything like that. But instead of just putting essential oils in water, you use, um, water and witch hazel. See, there's a wasp coming in right there in the center of your, sh in the center of your screen. Um, but that is water and witch hazel and then it's um, it's lemon and lavender and peppermint essential oils. That's just a deodorizing spray. It's totally chicken safe. It just helps um, just to, to, I don't know, it just makes the coop smell a little bit more fresh. And again, it's not anything that's going to hurt my chickens. I don't spray it on the nesting boxes or on my birds, but just in the big open area and down in the crevices just to keep like more wasp nests from building. I have knocked down a couple of dead ones that are over by the nesting boxes, basically on the door that I accessed from the outside. There were wasp nests like right under that, which was super fun to find out. So right now, I'm going to continue to use that spray, I think just on those same couple of nests that are away from the girls. You know, I'm not going to spray this one at night because the chickens are right there. I'm not going to spray that one at night and there's one up there somewhere. And then this new one, which is super fun. So um, just showing you so far basically is like what hasn't worked. Um, but I'm I'm getting really frustrated with the amount of wasps that are in here because it's crazy. Also, um, we have one of my kids' birthday parties and their real birthday and Father's Day. And then we're going out of town for a few days. But once we come back into town, we are going to cut the chicken run. So they'll have a lot more space. And then my plan is to come in and knock everything down and spray, you know, the nests that are more in the roosting area. Basically kick the chickens out into the yard and be like, all right, go play and then close this off so they can't get back into the coop for a little bit and then I'll just take a day and I'll eradicate all of these guys. So right now what I know that's going to work is maybe that spray or another variation of the wasp spray might work. You have to saturate it. You have to, have to, have to. And again, the Dawn dish soap helps it stick to the nest or stick to the wasp. And that spray is basically just suffocating them and it's saturating the nest to the point that, you know, they'll abandon it. And then once it's abandoned, then you knock it down. Um, I'm going to come in with um, you know gloves and a long stick and knock down the dead nests because like I said even though I had read they will not come and use an abandoned nest some of these were already built and abandoned and wasps have just shown up and been like hey cool prefab you know it's ready to go so it's like ah so I'm gonna come and get these I will say just another thing to be aware of again I'm not a hundred percent sure I can't find any definitive information on Yes, chickens can eat wasps and like the wasp larva and the pupa and the egg, you know, all the different phases. Yes, they can eat them or no, they can't. Certainly, you don't want your chickens to eat it if you've sprayed a whole bunch of crap on it. But if you haven't sprayed it, like, can chickens eat that? So just to be safe, I'm going to knock it down and immediately pick it back up, um, you know, and pick it up and throw it away. So it's not, I just knock it down and then my chickens can play with it. I'm out here multiple times every day and I know for a fact that the amount of nests that we have that are active are increasing and I'm not interested in, in you know wiping wasps off the face of the earth or anything like that I mean I do flip them off every time I come in here and I scream profanities at them but you know everybody has their place in the circle of life I just need the circle of life to not be in my chicken coop <laughs> so um, so that's what I've been working on right now so this is you know part a hopefully this will be only a two-part saga so I don't know what do you guys think? And again, you know, I don't want to use poison. I'm not going to paint the whole damn underside of the coop, but I need to find something that's going to work. So I know I can knock out the dead, the dead nests. I'm going to come out and spray again. Now that I know that, um, the wasps, you know, it was super late at night. It wasn't like it had just gotten dark. It had been dark for a while. Um, you know, the wasp didn't swarm and come after me or anything like that. So I guess I'm just going to try those things and do some more research, but I'm Sarah, the real simple mama. We're trying to get rid of some wasps, but you know, obviously the chickens are super concerned. So let me know in the comments what you think. This is probably the last video for a week or two, but we're all good here. I'm going to learn some more and then I'll come back and teach you some more. So thanks for watching guys. Thanks for subscribing. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh -huh. Say bye girls.